Hey, y'all sleep? Wake up, man. It's fight time. What's good, YouTube? Show boy, Boxing Wave 101. And we wake, wake up. And we back. Listen, fight week. The fight is approaching. Coming up Saturday. It's in Ontario. I'm on the West Coast. And I'm not even making it to the fight. I honestly thought the fight was going to be on the East Coast, Barclays, somewhere in South Texas or something. It's really in Cali, man. It's crazy. Not even too far away from me, but it's too close. Too close for me to try to get everything situated. I'm going to just, I'm going to call a fight from here. And honestly, I think that's better because now I can have my pen and paper. I'm going to score the fight round by round because the first fight was a little shock. I said, what the hell the judges seen that I didn't see? So, I'm going to score it round by round. Y'all just subscribe and stay tuned for the post-fight reaction, whether... Tony Harrison do what he did the first fight and pull out the victory. Or Jamel Charlo fix what he did wrong and he pull out the victory. I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen. But for the meantime, I'm going to tell you what I think is going to happen. You ready? So first fight, Tony Harrison, 28 and 2, uh, 21 knockouts. He got the decision over the WBC champion. Now he's the WBC champion. How long? Would his reign as a champion come to an end? Absolutely. A absolutely. Jamal Char Jamel Charlo is not finna allow Tony Harrison to beat him two times. The first time, it was by hair. All three judges had it unanimous, but by a few rounds. I think Jamel Charlo, he knows what he did wrong. I think he's gonna go to the body a lot earlier. He went to the body a lot later in the first fight. And then he start making his rounds count. Start putting his pennies in the bank. But I think this fight around, he's gonna go a lot earlier. I think Jamel Charlo, he can be a lot better of a fighter if he, if he went to the body a lot more than what he actually do. He's a he's a aggressive head hunter. That's why they call him an angry fighter. Iron Man. So the dude is an angry fighter. I honestly think if he was to hold his emotions together instead of trying to get the big punch, he knows he's a strong fighter. So sometimes as a strong fighter who knows you have a, a great punch, he showed that in all his previous fights and especially his last fight against Jorge Cota. I think it was the third round, a nice left hook and a right hand that slept him. But I think uh, uh, Tony Harrison a little bit more skilled. He can get on his bike a lot more easier than other fighters. He has really good movement. He has a uh, good boxing IQ. He showed that in the first fight. He don't allow to get himself hit over and over. He fixes his mistakes. He fixes whatever he did wrong. So it's going to be a lot harder for him to get these this vicious KO against Tony Harrison. I know he won it, though. I think a bad idea if you lean that way. Listen, Tony Harrison has some power, too, so Jamel Charlo, he better watch out for that. I don't believe he can hurt Jamel Charlo, shown in the first fight. He gave him his best shots, and he didn't even stumble this guy. So Jamel Charlo, he needs a little bit more credit for his chin and this. A lot of people don't give him credit for his heart, but I seen something in that first fight that I said he got it. Listen, in order for Tony Harrison to keep this belt, he got to do exactly what he did the first fight, move around. But I think I just seen the face off. He almost, he's, he almost slapped them. They had to push these guys back. No, 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 no. They had to break them up. So you already know what that means. Both guys are coming to knock each other's heads off. Now, Tony Harrison, you get involved with something like that, your head is going to be knocked off. Woo! You see that? That's, that's how his head gonna go. Don't get into an exchange with Jamel Charlo, the harder puncher. I know you have 21 knockouts and Jamel has 16, but your opposition has been a lot lower than Jamal's, than Jamel Charlo. I keep saying Jamal Charlo, the brother, twin brother, older brother just fought, I think uh, uh, a week or two back, vicious left hook. The dude can punch. So that is replaying in my head over and over. The dude got punching power. These twin brothers right here, something to be reckoned with in the future. They're only 29 years old. They got a lot left in the tank. I think what's better for boxing is that the twins win and keep winning. We haven't seen anything like this before, so very interesting for boxing. Shows me ship, uh, 
great character. Look, this I'm talking about for boxing. Great character for boxing. A lot of hate, and you know what that brings. Views. And I'm viewing. I'm going to tune in for this fight. It's going to be on Fox, so everyone is welcome to watch it. Ah, <sighs> man. Jamel Charlo has been fighting top competition since 2014. His first big step up was against Gabe Rosado. He pulled out that victory unanimous. So the dude has been fighting higher level competition for going on six years now. So mad respect to Jamel Charlo. He doesn't get the credit. I always pinpoint that out because a lot of people hate the dude, maybe because of his antics or how he acts inside and outside the ring, which is fair. Everybody has their own critique, just like how these judges had their own critique when they was watching a fight. Well, when they was judging the fight. Listen, let's stop uh, um, just bashing these fighters because of how you think they're acting. Just look at the skills. The dude can fight and also Tony Harrison can too. I'm taking nothing away from Tony Harrison, but I think he brung his A game that night. And I think Jamel Charlo brung a little bit less than that. If both fighters come in shape, prepared with the right game plan, I think Jamel has enough to overcome whatever Tony Harrison has. So I'm going to give the edge to Jamel Charlo in this fight to regain his title, his WBC title, and become number one at the 154-pound division. I know people will say J-Rock is number one. Definitely debatable. But that fight in the future will be fantastic. Look forward to the post-fight reaction. I got Jamel Charlo by TKO, maybe in the ninth round. Lucky nine, right? Tony Harrison has lost both fights in the ninth round. I think it's going to be his third become Saturday. Like, comment, subscribe. We out. Peace.